Welcome back to the John Mandola Show here on WILK. Appreciate you joining us each and every Saturday between 10 and 11. Talk about those local teams that are doing great stuff. And always great to check in with Kenny Bianchi, the head coach at Abbey tonight. And uh, Coach, uh, great to uh, see you and your team uh, pull off a victory last night. Yeah, we were real happy uh, about last night's performance. It was a little tough going early because we knew what they had but we settled down a little bit and did what we had to do in the second half especially let's go back to (laughs) a a week ago at the arena um you know you guys get delayed a little bit in your schedule but a big big crowd on sunday night to culminate the district two championships against dallas Uh, that atmosphere was i'm sure a lot of fun for the for the kids um for the fans and probably still fun for you guys as coaches Oh, sure. I mean, we really enjoy it, and the kids really, really enjoy it. You know, for some of them, they're not going to go on to play uh, in college, and that's the first time they'll ever play in an atmosphere like that, and uh, they really soaked it all in. And, of course, uh, beating Dallas. Uh, Dallas comes away with a win last night, so good for them. But let's talk about your defense this year, Coach, and being able to to slow teams down when you need to like you did against Dallas and what you're able to do to kind of slow down uh, the guard spot last night. Well, we work hard on our defense. I mean, uh, we play a lot of man, we play a lot of matchup zone, and the kids believe in that. We know we're not going to be shooting well every night. I mean, especially this year, uh, I am just so pleased at, at, at the job that they've done. If you told me before the season started, and we knew we had three really good players back, and Tinsley and um, Danzig, and we had Cola coming, and after maybe the third game, we went down, and our first test was William Sport, and Kohler had 31 points, and well, we're all happy, and then he gets that injury or whatever it is, he's out for the season. So uh, I'm thinking, if you told me that I was going to have a junior point guard who had no experience, very little last year, and then with, without Trey, uh, we had to go with two sophomores who never played one second of JV or varsity, and it made them starters. I... Uh, I just didn't think we'd end up where we are now, but they've worked hard every day. Uh, they've improved, and they knew we had to go for, go for more defense uh, than offense because uh, they weren't they weren't experienced, and, and everything fit. I've been blessed. Everything fell into place. Well, the next uh, task up is going to be Chester, and boy, the last time I can remember a team beating Chester out of uh, the District 2-4 area was Williamsport, and that goes back maybe uh, 18 years ago or so. Uh, what do you know about Chester's team? Well, my, my son got me some uh, report. We didn't get any film on them in, in the newspaper, and they're looking ahead to us. Uh, they said they want revenge for us beating them last year. Uh, they have a new coach, so Usually, if I didn't even see a film, I can go back to last year's tapes when we won in double overtime. But with the new coach, you don't know what he's going to do. So we have a roster. We have a couple of games, uh, the write-ups of the games, and we're going to see what we can find out. But at this point, all we're going to be concerned about is what do we do? Make sure we do what we do well and and, then let it go from there. Yeah, always athletic uh, Chester basketball. They'll be running uh, and gunning a little bit. Let's talk about preparation. You get in the gym today after a win, and and obviously it's the playoff time, so you got to take your day off and do all that stuff. But the, what's the mindset today of the guys? Uh, you know, feeling healthy and, and and getting ready for the next next task at hand. Yeah, when you have a game like, like that, and they were a tough physical game, you're not going to get much out of them the next day anyway. So well, what we'll do, we'll have a little warm up session. Then we'll sit down and uh, we'll go over last night's game, put on the, could have done better. Uh, and then we'll just basically have them shoot around a little bit, go through some individual drills, and then let them go. Well, it'll uh, be a productive day nonetheless. Get it in, get the guys out. And uh, Tuesday will be the next game, Abby tonight's in Chester. Coach Bianchi, always a, a pleasure talking with you. Tell Coach McLean uh, we appreciate his help as well. And uh, look forward to seeing you guys in the next round. Yeah, I will, John. Thank you very much. Okay, Abington Heights coach Kenny Bianchi. Hey, beating Chester last year, as he said, in double overtime. But, uh, boy, Chester's been a tough out uh, from teams from our area. Uh, going back to the that Williamsport team, uh, as I recall, the, the memories there at, at Martz Hall. And that, uh, that thing went to an overtime game as well. So uh, Chester's been pretty darn tough over the years. 1017 here at WI. Okay, we'll talk some wrestling, some baseball, all coming your way here on the John Mandola Show. Let's take a timeout and head over to our local State Farm Insurance agent, Frank Sorocatch. Break like a good neighbor. Frank Sorocatch is there. We'll be back on WILK.